Today we'll be learning how to factor a product of a quadratic trinomial and a monomial. Let's break it down. Imagine we're asked to factor a polynomial that looks like this. This looks really hard. How are we going to factor this? The first thing we should do is check to see if there's a greatest common factor of each of these terms. How would we do that? First we'll break down these coefficients into prime factorizations and we'll expand these exponents with our variables into repeated multiplication. Something like this. The prime factorization of 4 is 2 times 2 because those two prime numbers multiply to equal 4 and those are the, that's the only set of prime numbers that will multiply to equal 4. This x to the fifth power can be written as x times x times x times x times x. Here we've expanded our first term. Let's do that to the other two terms. Now that we've expanded each term, we can decide which of these factors all three terms have in common. Each of these terms has at least one, two, and three x's. So the greatest common factor of each of these terms is two x cubed. Besides this two and the x cubed, there are no other common factors that all three of our terms have. So this is the greatest common factor. So now that we've found the greatest common factor, we can factor it out of each of our original terms. 4x to the fifth power divided by 2x cubed is 2x squared. 6x to the fourth power divided by 2x cubed is 3x and 18x cubed divided by 2x cubed is 9. So now we have rewritten this as 2x cubed times 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. Our final step to continue factoring this is to factor this second part that's left, which is a regular quadratic equation. We use the same method we use when factoring out any quadratic with a coefficient greater than 1. I'll do it with the grouping technique. First I draw an x to keep my work organized. In the top part of the x, I do 2 times negative 9, which is negative 18. In the bottom, I'll put negative 3 because that's our middle term. Two factors that multiply to negative 18 and add to negative 3 are negative 6 and positive 3. We can rewrite our quadratic equation as 2x squared minus 6x plus 3x minus 9 and the greatest common factor of these first two terms is 2x, so I'll factor that out. And the greatest common factor of these second two terms is 3, so I'll factor that out. And now we can factor out x minus 3 from both of these terms to see that this original quadratic equation can be rewritten as x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. If that process of going from a quadratic equation to the factored version is not familiar to you, review the topic factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient greater than 1. Now we can replace this expression with this one in our equation to see that our final answer is 2x cubed times x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. And now our original expression is completely factored. So to factor a polynomial, we first check if there is a greatest common factor of each term which can be factored out of the whole equation, and then we try to factor what's left? Exactly. 